Okay, music fans, <laughs> welcome back to the Real Music Observer. I'm Dave, observing real music in real time for real people, just like you and just like me. Big shout out to the guys in the band Escape. Hey, guys. All right, so they may not want to be affiliated with me after uh, I've been on CNN, which now is confirmed. I was going to talk about this earlier. Somebody sent me a link, and he's like, really, dude, you should know. If you're part of the story, you should really know that you're part of the story. And I'm sitting there watching it, and I'm dumbfounded. My jaw is like, uh huh? So Andy Warhol, I did it. I'm all done. You know, that's off the bucket list. Uh, look, it's this isn't where I wanted to be with this channel. Uh, they aired the little clip of me during the blowing up of Journey uh, video, which got a lot of a uh, lot of hits, and I was pretty much going crazy because <laughs> I was reading Twitter like everybody else. Go, what? Why? Um, and I've since, and this is for you, Neil. Okay, and for everybody else who doesn't like me. Uh, I've since tried to take a different tact. Now, I'm really hoping that everybody works it out. It's not good to see Arnell having a meltdown again today on Twitter. It's just, it's not good. I mean, he's thinking, I worked hard for 10 years and it's all for nothing, more or less. Then you go over to Jonathan Cain's page and he's humbly talking about a new song that he just wrote and he plays two minutes of it, and he sounds like the sweetest, nicest guy. Whether you like Christians or not, I'm just throwing that in there because it seems that this, you know, the political divide, the left, the right, the Christian, the non-Christian, atheist, I mean, Journey is just about good music, people. It's, it's not about any of this stuff. And I know that the world is cluttered with all of this noise of politics right now, and it will be for a long time, apparently. We, d we just don't get along. We don't see eye to eye on any of this stuff. Most of us, though, are kind of libertarian. We just want to be left alone. We want to live our lives, uh, and we don't, we don't want to interfere with other people and what they're doing. And I think that's the way I look at life. I'm kind of a live and let live guy. And right now, I think that's what Kane is up to. He's just live and let live. And I'm not going to do any more stories about Neil blowing up Twitter, okay? Because it's, Neil has, he's done what he can do. You know, he's, he's got his opinion. Uh, I think it should blow over. I really do, and I think it will. I mean, if he keeps talking about it, maybe he keeps it alive for some reason. I don't know what, what's that. I mean, maybe he just wants an exit. You know, again, if I'm going to speculate, I'm going to say maybe he just wants out of this somehow. Maybe he wants to create a divide that John Cain doesn't see is actually there. And so in the end, maybe that's what this is all about. Maybe, you know, he wants a clean break. He wants a new start. He wants a fresh start. He wants to do something else. And this is the only way he can kind of extricate himself from all of the commitments of the band Journey uh, because the other guys will push back and say, hey, we don't want this. And maybe he gets the name. Maybe, maybe Sean gets the name of the band and the other guys don't tour with that name. Or maybe it just goes on hiatus for a long time. And then down the road it comes back together again and everybody is happy because so much time has gone by. So yours truly, <laughs> I hate to say it, on CNN uh, with John, I think his name's John Bowden from Rock History Music. He got on there too, but he's a pro. I'm just an amateur. So he deserves to be on TV. He's got a face for TV. I've got a face for radio. And that's why, you know, YouTube was invented and that was a big problem for me. That's not good for you, the, the viewer. But in any case, I appreciate the support from those of you who have supported me. And thanks for the heads up on the tweets. I thought this was a made up story, but apparently it's real news. So this is The Real Music Observer. I'm Dave and uh, I will be back again, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I think I need to take today off for the rest of the day.